first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number seven on the topic how many triangles are there in the given figure so now we are going to solve some of the questions from the last model of this lesson that is miscellaneous so friends never forget to learn all the previous lesson so first always start learning from lesson number one only then you can able to understand how this question is right what is this question and what all the different kinds of models that they have combined in this question so listen here model number one we have seen like a triangle which has multiple vertical lines then model number two inside a single triangle there will be multiple small small triangles and then inside a single triangle another triangle is embedded so one triangle embedded with the another one then we have solved some question that is based on a square box and as well as a rectangular box and then the previous lesson is based on a star so this will be the final lesson of this uh, chapter you know this final lesson questions will be like uh, combining any two models just look at the diagram you can able to see the two models has been combined in a single diagram just listen carefully the the above right the above part you can see the outermost triangle inside that outermost triangle there are multiple small small vertical lines as well as here and there are horizontal lines we have seen the same case in model number one and you can see the bottom most diagram where the bottom most diagram is a rectangular shape so inside that it has been separated into many parts what we learnt in model number three so here this question is a collection of model number one as well as model number three so this is the way usually in the exams they will ask a question but it's very rare you uh, 99 percentage you won't see these kinds of questions in your exams most probably they will ask a question from all the five above models but anyway we have to learn this also you should know how to solve these types of questions got it so entering into the first question i think uh, this is the only question i have taken memory based question i i can't able to uh, collect any other question similar to this so just we can solve only one question that is based on the last miscellaneous model so here is the question so you can able to see just now i have told you right that the bottom most area so this area what we learned in the model number three is yes or no right and you can see the topmost uh, diagram this will be the model number one what we learned so let me easily find how many triangles are there in the given figure so what we usually do in the model number one so model number one we will see the base of the triangle is yes? so this this will be the base of the triangle is yes or no so base of the triangle and we will start putting the numbers so one two three and four so similarly there is an another baseline so we will start putting the number again starting the series one and two so again here one two and three what will be the next step we have to add all the numbers so adding all the numbers so four plus one will be five so this will be ten and this will be three and this will be six so total 10 plus 6 will be 16 so this total will be 19 yes or no so we can say that in the given image where the topmost uh, totally we have 19 triangles so let me uh, target the bottom most area so bottom most area you can see it's based on a model number 3 so model number 3 what is the technique we have learned we usually put the number like this so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so what is the next step we will see which is the maximum number largest number here so the largest number is 8 and we will multiply that 8 by 2 so 16 so finally we can say that for the bottom most uh, diagram we have 16 triangles and for the top most of the image we got 19 triangles so 19 plus 16 just the total will be of 35 so we can say that in the given image there are 35 triangles but always remember one thing even in while teaching every models i have told you one thing if there are two images getting connected just see model number one and model number three is getting connected similarly model number two or model number four can be connected in that connecting area you can see this is the connecting area so no this is the connecting area so be careful that in the connecting area there can be another triangles formed more than five two etc but we need to go with the manual calculation many time in the previous video i have told you in case if there are any two images get connected you can't able to use any shortcuts there you should go with some manual calculations 
So similarly, here you can able to see, let me check, is there any other triangles that are uh, in that connecting part? Just listen here, just, just see here once, you can able to see, there is one triangle, so I can, just a minute, just a minute. I can rub this area, right? Yes. Now you can be able to see that, keep this as one point, one point here and one point, yes or no? This will be one triangle, just see, this area, yes. So this will be one triangle, so similarly, this will be another triangle, got it? So there are another two triangles, so 35 plus 2 will be 37. So the answer for this question is 37. So there are 37 triangles in the given figure. So most of the students will always go with the answer 35. So only the students who are known this logic, right, known this shortcut tricks, right, you can, you will get the answers 37. So this comes only in practice. Again, I am saying you have to practice more and more number of questions. Only then you can able to say the exact answer 37. But don't worry about it. Just understand some of the note. Never forget all those notes, right? Uh, in the earlier videos itself, I have told you the same note. Whenever the two images gets connected, you have to go with some manual calculations. In the manual calculation, surely you will get one or two triangles. So, if you find a triangle, then all the remaining steps are easy. Model number one, we have learned how to solve the question. Model number three, we have learned the techniques. So we have applied all those techniques and we have found answer 35. But that number two, right, another two triangle comes only in practice. For finding that two, you can't able to use any shortcuts or nothing like that. Got it? So it's one of the memory based question. I don't know which exam it was asked, but it was one of the memory based question. So uh, that's it about this uh, topic friends. Complete chapter is, moreover it is easy. If you practice 100 questions, surely you can able to crack the questions in your exams. So again, if you are preparing for railway exams, SSC exams, college campus interview students, start targeting this topic more. Because one or two questions in every competitive exams to, to those exams, they have asked this question for one or even for five marks, right? So uh, I think that's it about this video. So thank you so much for watching this video. So if you really like it, share this video to your friends, those who are preparing for the competitive exams. So thank you so much for watching it. Bye.